Hello and welcome to Lol Cow Watch, the show that pushes civil rights into the new era. <laughs> I'm your host, Cracked Rack, and we need to talk about something before this episode starts. See, I feel like I've kind of been sitting on my lol cow throne all this time, looking down from above at all the stupid little lol cows, like I'm some kind of lol cow king. So I'm gonna make fun of myself more. That way, I have a little thing called leverage. Did you know I have a tattoo of David Bowie's face on my hand? I don't even know anything about David Bowie. I got this tattoo as a dare when I was like 17. But hey, I love it. I totally dig the fact that every time I bust a nut, I essentially give David Bowie a gay facial. I love that. My life is great. Anyway, the point of the show is to have fun. We are having fun. We are embracing autism. Hell, we are celebrating autism here. Anyway, today's episode is on a man who only goes by the name of Timbox. Timbox, known in real life as Timothy McKenzie, is a 30-year-old man from Boston, Massachusetts, sh- Massachusetts, who over the last 15 years has captivated our hearts with some of the most amazing autism we've ever seen, ever. He's been posting on forums for, like I said, over 15 years, and he's attracted a lot of attention on himself because of his rage-induced theatrics and super strange behavior involving animated children. He's essentially obsessed with animated children, particularly this little animated girl named Lily, who's like a tiny little side character from Dexter's Lab. I've shown this clip numerous times, but uh, because I'm a nice guy, I'm gonna show you again. Here's a clip of him jerking off to her. Hi there, Lily, my love. Hi, Lily. What you doing? I love you, Lily. I love you, Lily. Now, a lot of people think Timbox is trolling, but I can assure you he isn't. Timbox has been active on the internet for a decade and a half, and he has not changed at all once throughout that entire time, from the time of him being 15 to now 30. There's not been a single change. He would have to be the greatest troll and most dedicated troll of literally all time to pull that off. That would be amazing. Seriously, though, he still acts like he did when he was 15 years old. Here's a recent tweet from him. And by recent, I mean literally like a week ago. I order all of you to stop giving me a very good calling out every goddamn single time. You don't listen to me regardless. I am not evil, nor am I even famous just yet. And please stop screaming at smart people like me. Now, to be fair, the people he's responding to are shitheads who are trolling him. They pretty much are saying that Timbox raped them, which no, no, they, no, he didn't. He did not rape you. <laughs> it did not happen. I really hope whoever made that tweet was not inspired by my video to do that, because I would feel pretty bad about that, but whatever. I'm, I'm already going to hell. And by the way, I started my own little stupid Timbox wiki where you can upload stuff about Timbox, because Timbox's wiki... His official one has gone to complete shit. Here's an example of how bad his wiki has gotten. Timothy McKenzie is a 29-year-old autistic faggot who lives at seven... Known infamously on the internet for his various fucking retarded ideas for gay pornos he wants to make. See, that is not good. That is bad etiquette. You doxed him. You, you called him slurs. That's not how I roll, alright? So yeah, link in description to the Timbox wiki. Feel free to contribute. Just don't be ridiculous, alright? Don't be posting a bunch of slurs and doxes everywhere. That's ridiculous. Here's another tweet from Timbox to give you all a nice little idea of what we're still dealing with to this day. At Tara Strong, I would like to owe you an apology for masturbating to Samurai Jack and Ashy. I'm sorry for acting so stupid on the internet. But then right after saying sorry, he replies with, And it is not really my fault, and I could still like Samurai Jack and Ashy all I want. This tweet is like if I tweeted Emma Stone and was like, At Emma Stone, I jerk off to your boobs all day and I just wanted to say I'm sorry, but I'm not really sorry and I could still jerk off to your boobs all I want. Overall, this is just super weird behavior. Timbox has a super strange preoccupation with revealing every single personal detail about his little sex life to thousands of people. Like, okay, if you beat your meat to fictional characters, that's fine. Just don't share it with us because we don't want to know. No one asked. But this is Timbox we're dealing with here. 
So rationality is completely out the goddamn window. So one of the biggest aspects of Timbox is his creativity. See, Timbox wants to be a filmmaker more than anything. And he spends about 90% of his time coming up with plots to movies that are just absolutely fucking ridiculous. Mainly because he has no concept of copyright. And he just kind of takes a piss and shit all over copyright every five seconds. Now, this copyright issue would be fine if he was just making fan fictions, but he's not. He actually fully expects these movies to not only be made, but enjoyed by millions of people. I showed you all his Dexter's Odyssey masterpiece, but here's a definitive list of almost all of the film ideas he's come up with. The first film on the list is a film called Dinosaurs, an Epic Prehistoric Tale. It's pretty much an animated movie that is an exact ripoff of The Land Before Time, almost a word-for-word -word ripoff. However, in this movie, the dinosaurs apparently act like pimps and eat a lot of TGI Fridays. Nothing else to say about that one. The next film of interest that he conceptualized is one called Mighty Jack Skyler. It's a complete ripoff of Jurassic Park because Tim Box is fucking gay for dinosaurs, apparently. Not that there's anything wrong with gay people. I love gay people. I have a gay friend. However, what's interesting about this movie is Timbox used pictures of real school shootings to promote the movie. Yeah, because when I think of Jurassic Park, the first thing that comes to mind is Columbine. But hey, whatever floats your weird little boat. The next film is real disturbing. It's called Lily's Childhood. It's disturbing because you remember that video of him jerking off to a child on screen? That was Lily. It's really weird that he wants to explore the young childhood of a character he masturbates to every single night, but whatever. The last movie I'm going to talk about is another conceptualized film known only as Clerks 3. This Clerks sequel is like nothing else you've ever seen regarding Clerks. Because this movie features both dinosaurs and sexualized toddlers. So overall, I think you get the picture from this short little presentation. Tim Box is a 31-year-old man who shares ridiculous amounts of personal information about himself, he has no self-awareness, he thinks he's a creative god with millions of fans, he makes absolutely abysmal video productions and concepts that are so far out of reality it's absurd, he responds to anyone giving him any kind of criticism with extreme rage and usually even death threats, he threatens to kill people all the time. So overall, I would say that Timbox is a very lolsworthy lol cow who is worth researching. And Timbox, if you're watching this, my advice to you would be to just embrace it, all right? You're getting attention, all right? You're, you're getting something that people usually have to commit a suicide bombing for, all right? You gotta do a lot of hard work to get this kind of attention, all right? So just enjoy it. Embrace the cringe, all right? Because at the end of the day, we're all cringe. We're all just cringe lords sitting on our computers judging other people. And that is what the internet is. So just embrace it, Timbox. Embrace your autism. Embrace your weirdness.